Sepo is probably one of those players you should look at. Oh, for. I actually want to see Sepo come back and set. Yeah. See how he performs here. But him being so young, it's understandable why. His brother always drives him around. It's kind of a joke between the two of them. Like, <laughs> um, but definitely Soko is one of those players that like um, he's a really really strong player and he started out so young he started out meeting Jigglypuff and we all kind of joke like hey if you like a floaty like Jigs why don't you just pick up the next best thing and it's Mewtwo and sure as hell you know he outplaced uh, your naked grandma another good up and coming um, Mewtwo main here in SoCal so I actually think your naked grandma is here yeah he is here today actually oh yeah there he is I can see him He's like, right? Alright, well, here we go. Game one. Oh, so he didn't actually change his name. I thought he changed his name to Mage. But I guess it's still Major Symphonia. I would have preferred if he changed his name to Mage. I don't know what Major Symphonia means or where he got the name from, but. Sometimes player stories are really interesting. What, what is a Rotu Wolf? I wanna say it's like an I wanna say it's like a Naruto thing. I really I really do. It's a I'm gonna assume it's a Naruto. It sounds like something you'd hear in Naruto. Wow. Real, real talk, that's a Naruto How name. Time you said that? <laughs> he could be a fan of. He could be a fan of. Uh, what is it? Okami? That's another great game. And that's not. But uh, speaking of great games, this game right now is doing a really good job for Orochi Wolf. Good job with the up air down air. It's kind of one of his pattern things, and one of the things I do love that Orochi Wolf does is he always covers the up air with a, with a down air immediately to see um, if you're going to air dodge, and you can definitely punish your air dodge after that. Well, up is going to connect, and those two players are going to trade. Now we see Luma actually knocking Orochi Wolf to the right side of the stage, grabbing Orochi Wolf right out of his shield, and forced to recover low. Ah, forward air on that shield, not going to be quite safe, my guy, and he's going to get hit by that up smash to another upper. Rocho is off the stage, but I like how he takes his time to just decide, okay, I'm going to recover low, but he also needs to be aware Mage can also cover that option, and he's not able to cover that option of that down air, unfortunately. Yeah, Rocho will uh, recognize that Mage's opponent is going to recover low, and just drops down with his down air, sending uh, Mage into the Shadow Realm. Oh, he's trying to get a pivot grab off that roll. Yeah. Not able to find it. Now we see Mage's Luma trying to trying to step up and swing a bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to you, uh, Ike Tyson. Yeah, um Izal did release his video on the art of Sonic. It's actually currently available on YouTube. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. Uh, it is the art of Sonic. Izal just released it today. So definitely go check it out if you're looking up for some Sonic matchup or just how Sonic plays. But let's go back to how Rochu was playing, because he's doing a really good job continuing in this lead against them. Okay, well, he's playing defensive on the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that Mage of Sponia was looking for that up smash, and he still finds it. Okay, dash attack, and now Rojo will force to recover. Well, that guy was trying to cover up that homing attack with trying to go for a facing away up smash, but uh, Rochi is not looking to toss that out. It's kind of one of the moves I don't really see Rochi will toss out too much is homing attack. Wow, what a snipe with that spring, but of course it's Rosalina. Yeah, Rosalina, even missing attack was doesn't really matter. Alright. Up throw into up air. Okay, Orochi Wolf starting to recover low a lot. I want to see Mage's punish against that. He needs to start putting a check mark on that uh, lower recovery. He's going to just get out of that situation. Not going to deal with those up airs. He does get tagged by uh, Luma's Nair. Alright, Mage starting to play very patient. He knows he doesn't have to go in right now. Orochi Wolf kind of camping out the lights. Commits to that up smash. Fortunately, Orochi was able to shield that out. My oh. has been using the spring ride, and what a good option to go for a back air, a little bit of a chase down, another spring ride, not going to be at it. Even trying to space out with that, uh, with the back air, not going to be able to find anything, but catches the roll with an F smash. That wind up hurts so much. Yeah, man, that thing does start out uh, frame three, or frame three or four, and it has quite a lasting hitbox. So you can toss that out, and you can get some two frames off that. It's a really good option that Orochi did toss it out against so the. He tossed it out, I'm sorry, he tossed it out against the wall. Almost lost my words there. I also love how the chat's just talking about how all the characters are not honest. <laughs> or who's honest. Alright. Well, these two players are pretty honest because they're honestly going into game two. <laughs> yes, indeed. Alright, Mage with the catch, putting a lot of percent against Orochi Wolf. Trying to down air on that platform, but it wasn't quite safe. I like how Mage was looking to cover that. 
uh, platform also as well. Especially the fact that Rosalina does have a uh, sticking hitbox uh, against platforms. On um, with platforms, I'm sorry. Using the first hit of up air to actually uh, send Mage into, into Dumbo Stage. He's just pressuring Mage. Doesn't get too much percent for it. Only 40, but at the same time, sending Mage is going out all over the stage. Alright. Rocha Wolf looking to cover a lot of the bases here. Goes in with that. I like how he, he does that a lot. It's kind of the pattern in Sonic thing where you're going with dash. I'm sorry, um, with spin dash. And you get out with up B. Kind of like an ejecto Cedo deal. <laughs> um, and Rocha Wolf does that a lot to try to go in inside Mage's range. But now Mage is looking to control a lot of Orochi Wolf space as he brought him towards the ledge and he commits to that option. Going for a s'more. It's Mash and sees that. Orochi Wolf was trying to get off the ledge to go for probably a spin dash or a homing attack. Doing air dodge into Nair. He's able to escape those two up airs coming out from Mage. 67%. His low percent is going to allow uh, Mage to get up throw into a couple up airs. Here we go up throw and. Oh, oh, Alright, there's the back air. Mage still living though. Rocho has edge guard opportunity. Winds up the punch, unable to find anything. Uh, Rocho does control the stage though. He has the opportunity, but he lets the Mage kind of walk up on stage. That made just like walked away from that spin dash. Really, that was a free up smash. Yeah, that really was. And that's kind of one of those deals where Orochu should have been uh, not keen to let Mage back on the stage that easily because now Mage has control of the stage, but Orochu looking for it back. There's that so, back air. Like, Orochu is, is, has uh, like the Hawkeye for Mage Symphony when it comes to his recovery. He knows that. <laughs> Mage is going to be recovering low just yeah. about every single time. And he's able to even just toss up that spring right just to cover that option as well. Uh, we definitely saw him try to take a stock he's against Mage. He's not even throwing out a spring right anymore. He's straight up going down there looking yeah. for a back air to connect at 50 to 60% just to take the game. Oh, what a good hold from Orochi Wolf trying to find that scissor to the up. Oh, that is the up air. Ugh, lost my words again. Okay, with down air comes out, but uh, Mage being at such a low percent, not really going to send him anywhere. But it does allow uh, Orochi Wolf to get back on the stage, get his feet planted, but back to the stage, back to these corners, Orochi Wolf just cannot escape. Yeah, Mage just definitely closed the gap for Orochi Wolf, and he's controlling a lot of the stage. But Orochi Wolf able to finally get back on it. That spring definitely pretty crucial to help him out. That's oh. going to start that spring right to the up air, but Mage able to get away from it. Even and able to get the reset off that uh, platform. Yeah. Spring and play a little bit more pressure onto Mage. Wow. Player. Orochi Wolf looking to steal this game away from Mage. Yeah, if uh, Mage Symphonia gets grabbed into up throw, he should be expecting Orochi Wolf to be following up with an up air, possibly even going for some type of free fight. Right? Oh, he caught him in that. And with the amount at uh, a spin dash, he's just like hovering over Rosalina's head. It was only a matter of time before one up smash connected. Exactly. And it felt that like Orochi was kind of limited on options in that situation. If you try to like go on ledge, you well, know, Mage would have tried to snipe that out, try to go like over it. He's just not mixing it up. He's yeah. Not mixing up his recoveries. He's not mixing up his approaches. Like he said, he can, he was going for spin dash into spring ride to es safely escape. Mm -hmm. But there were times where he, he would have nowhere to escape too. Yeah. Yeah. That's and kind of one of those situations. Yeah. That's <laughs> very true. I do want to see Orochi kind of be a little more cautious now, especially that may just kind of caught up to his game. So he definitely wants to start mixing it up. But Orochi keeps trying to find it. He finds himself a lot at the ledge right now, and that's where Mage kind of wants Orochi with that, the ledge. And especially with Rosalina Luma just keeping that pressure. Oh, that skid is going to be a free grab, but up throw is not going to connect for Mage. Very fortunate for Orochi Wolf, but now stuck in love with once again. Spin dash connecting, only to get sucker punched by Luma. Nice pepper grab. grab. Good wait. It's kind of one of those deals where that's what I've been saying. You know, Rocho keeps finding himself at the ledge, unable to come in against Mage. And it's really difficult for him because if he keeps trying to retreat to the um, the left or the right side of the stage like that. And it's kind of giving Mage the advantage. He needs to start holding the middle of the stage. He's found himself at it, tries to come in for a grab, unable to find much. There's going to be the upper. He does have a little bit of a rage to play around with. Keeping uh, Mage and Bonia above him. He's trying to strike out with these up airs, but Mage able to sneak in the back air. <laughs> what a good stall with that spin dash. But not able to stall out that recovery, unfortunately, and Mage able to take that out. Okay, now he's 
Loki. Loki was playing a little bit more aggressive uh, than he has in the previous game. Kind of want to, you know, a lot of people don't like Sonic for his camp game, but that's where Roshi Wolf needs to start coming to the camping game and looking for an opportunity to get in. He's Ooh. trying to go in for these down airs to finish off Mage, but it's not the attempt. I mean, yeah. If, if that down air had sweet spotted at that percent, Mage would have been dead. Exactly. But, uh, unfortunately for Roshi Wolf, it didn't. And now we have a uh, Mage Symphonia at 102% against a little. A low percent Sonic, which can be a little scary. Still looking for that, and he's able to force Mage to recover high. I'm sorry, just to recover with that up B, and Roach Wolf is looking to set that out with the back air. Now it's kind of even game here. Yeah, yeah it's pretty much an even game. Low, these lower percents, deficit doesn't matter too much, uh, if at all. All right, Roach Wolf still coming back to the ledge. I don't like that. He needs to control the middle ground here. All right, start that off with a spring ride with an upper. I like how he's going for it, slowly but surely. Okay, he's making a lot better use of these platforms uh, on Lilac than he did on Smash Bros. Now you see a down throw. You can see a spring ride to cover some uh, ground. All right, I like how Rojo is still holding down to the middle. I like that. Doesn't need to stay at the ledge anymore. All right. The thing about Mage is he's not holding on to that armor too much. Not at all. Especially in the air, he's not really air dodging. Um, Loki will be starting to take advantage of that. And Mage not even punishing Orochi Wolf when he goes up for that up B, especially off spin dash. He could be looking to just punish his landing too, and Mage has not been doing that at all. Whenever Mage gets uh, Orochi Wolf to these corners, he'll be not pressing his advantage, but making sure that he's keeping um, Orochi Wolf at a certain percent where he can react to spin dashes or even run up. But wind up punch is going to beat out uh, the jabs that Mage was trying to set up for. That was some disrespect.